Christian here from Maine and Sons and Such and B. Simpson. I am doing a remake of my rainbow cupcakes. Everybody loves them and they wanted to, um, ugh, more people wanted them than what I had made. So I just I decided to make another batch, but I had a request to do the second batch in rainbow sherbet scent. So I'll do that. I'll have some scented in monkey farts and then some in rainbow sherbet. Now I got me some new containers. I found them at Dollar General. They are HDPE uh, plastic, so they are safe for lye. They're very heavy duty and there's actually measurements on the inside. Not that I really will use those. Uh -oh. But my oats and my clay and my goat milk Mom. was in the bottom. Noah, look at that. So I'm going to give that a buzz. These are similar to the bowls that you can get at the Dollar Tree, but these are much more sturdier. So I'm gonna add in my cream. I'm actually making two batches of soap in this video because I'm gonna split this in half. I'm gonna only make I think six or seven cupcakes. And then I'm going to make a two pound batch of um, my, uh, hold on, gingerbread. Okay, so I'm soaking a little warm. And I'm hoping that that does not mess me up. So, what I need to do before I get way ahead of myself and get myself in trouble is I need my pan for my cupcakes ready. So I'm of course going to pour the bases of those first. Let me grab my cupcake liners. I need six. I'm gonna do seven. I think I have enough for seven. Yeah. We'll move these to where I have room. I know you guys really can't see what I'm doing. Um, to where I can pipe if I need to. Pipe some things. Let's see, one, two, three, four, six, seven. Mommy. Beep. Okay, let's move this in the oven out of my way. Any way? Mm hmm. Oh, no problem, Mason. No problem, Mason. No problem. Yeah. Get my two pound mold. Okay. I think I'm ready. I hope. Lordy me. What I'm probably going to do is pour my base of my cupcakes first. Well, I'll separate it out. Oh my. Hold on. All right, disaster averted. He hurt his butt. Now we do not, of course, want to bring this to full trace. We just want this emulsified. That's plenty. I'm going to put my blender in my, my water. And I need my scale for this. 
because I know how much I need to measure out. So I'm going to measure out the correct email. I so should have, like, been better prepared when I started this before I started the video, but you know what? It will. Let's see how even we are. That should be pretty close to even. Yep. Okay. So this one I'm just going to set to the side. This one I shall work on for the cupcake. Oh, and my phone is ringing. Oh my gosh. Okay. I swear I'm going to get this done. Okay. Make sure I got the right fragrance. Yes. Woo, that's spiciness. Okay. So. I can't, Austin. I keep getting too many interruptions. I have to get this done, okay? You're going to have to play the games that you have for now until I'm done. Or you're going to have to wake your daddy up and ask him. Well, well, can you tell me how to type in dark bike? Just one or tell me. Tell, tell, tell me what. Alright, let's see. Hmm. <laughs> I don't remember how much I need. For my bases. I really don't. Ugh. That'll work. My white. Perfect. And this little bit amount, I'll just stick back in. It's not enough to hurt. Let's put this down here. containers and we shall measure out goodness can't pick up anything 
That's doing all right. Six. Ride your bike on the pop, okay? Does that sound like a plan? No. No? Yes. Okay, that sounds better to mommy. You? Yeah. Me? Me? Me, mommy? Yeah, you. You, me. Ooh, that was scary. Me and you. You and me. You and me. And me and you. Tell them. Say you and me. And me and you. Me and you. <laughs> me and you. 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 Me and me. You and me is right. You and me is right. Move this, mommy. I can't move it. Don't ride right there. Ride uh, back by the washer. Huh? Ride back by the washer. Right back there. Hot? 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 Huh? Hot? What's hot? No, it's hot. Yes. It should not be hot, no. One. There's our purple. Beautiful. Hot, hot. No. What the no! Yes, my Who are you fussing at? Huh? What are you fussing about? Who are you fussing to? No, no, we're going to drop the pots. Purple and blue. So, no, we're Green, yellow, orange, dogs, mm -hmm. and orange, 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 orange. Orange, 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 orange. Orange, 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 orange. Orange, 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 orange. Say, orange, 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 orange. Red. Orange. Orange. Red, orange. Red, orange. Blue. Blue. Green. Green. Now, I'm going to pour off just a little bit of this one green. to color white. Green. Green. We'll fragrance the rest. 
Too close. Make a make tossa. You go. for my gingerbread soap because the the uncolored portion is going to turn really dark chocolate. So we'll put this out of way. Uh -uh, you stuck.
guys, we're back to unmold and um, the cupcakes and the and cut the gingerbread soap. So here is my cupcakes. I'm really pleased with these. Looks like the bottom is still a little. Let me get a paper towel. I don't like to set them down on just anything. So can you guys see that there? Just because um, they're a little, uh, the bottoms are white and it's so easy to get them dirty. So I always try to sit them down and I think I actually put a little maybe too much white in the base and that's why they're a little tacky. These ones are scented in the um, rainbow sherbet. I love the white base because it really and accentuates the frosting. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Which these are not 24 hours old yet. They're about 20 hours old. So not far from being 24. very happy with how these turned out. Now this one is the one that really doesn't have the purple in it, which is fine. I mean, it is what it is. It's got a tiny bit of the blue. Purple hadn't made it out yet. Because this time when I, um, and here's my little samples. This time when I unmolded it, or um, put it in the piping bag, I didn't do as well as I did the first time. So, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Alright, so let's scoot these back here out of my way. Get my cutter up here and get you situated. So see well. I think that's fairly good. Paper towel. And as you can see, it's turning nice and dark on the top. And it smells fantastic. to turn a nice deep dark chocolate brown and then the white should stay white. I'm gonna put these over here. I like it. Most of the swirls in the bottom and that's mainly because when I did the in the pot swirl, most of the white was on the top, so when I poured it in, it went in first. But that's okay. I'm very happy with how my soaping turned out yesterday with all of my soaps. I made this double batch, you know, out of the single batch, two different scents, and then I made um, two other batches. So three batches of soap, but four different scents. Perfect. I think I'm going to, this is awfully thick. 
for an, um, a sample, so I think I'm going to cut it in half before I cut it. Because samples, you know, are samples. It's not made to bathe with over and over again. It's just to let you smell and see if you like it and you want to order the full size bar. Alright, so here are the samples of these. So, thank you all for watching. I hope to catch you guys on my next video.